is of air. The first one is that air occupies space. Now you all know that when we exhale out like right so we are throwing out the air now if i blow that air into this balloon then let's see what happens okay see i blew so much of air out of my mouth and all that filled up this balloon it means that the air occupied the space available in this balloon so this activity proves that air occupies space Okay, so we are going to do one more activity to prove that air occupies space. You can see I have fixed the balloon to the mouth of a bottle. An empty bottle means it contains air. When I dip it in steaming hot water, you can see the balloon is getting inflated. Now what is happening? The air inside this bottle is getting expanded the molecules are moving away from each other and hence that the air molecules are entering into the balloon and filling the balloon okay so this is one more activity to prove that yes air occupies space now let us see the opposite of it if i dip the same bottle in chilled water you can see there's ice here then let's see what happens oh the balloon is shrinking see it's shrinking and okay okay let's wait oh my god the air has compressed and as a result air is not there and let me see further oh it's compressing so much that the air is balloon is entering into the bottle okay so with this activity actually we have proved two things one that air can be compressed you can see the bottle has also got compressed please see this the bottle has got compressed because the air inside has got compressed when it got cooled okay Now I am going to show you the next property of air that is air has mass. So for that you can see this rod here. I have uh, tied up two balloons filled with air and you can see how balanced it is. It is so balanced okay like a beam balance. Now let us see if I prick one. If I prick one of the balloon you all are very intelligent to understand the air from it will escape okay so let's see let me prick this yellow one and see now what has happened to the rod it has tilted towards the other balloon which is red indicating that now this is heavy now why is it heavy earlier it was balanced what has escaped is the air it means that the other balloon it lost the air and this is heavy indicating that air occupy uh, sorry air has mass now the third property is that air can be compressed okay so you all have seen the syringe children right now this has a nozzle here through which air can pass in now as i pull it the air is entering inside okay fine now i have pulled it pull the piston to maximum now you see the readings here okay you can see the reading here now i will block this nozzle tightly and push the piston now you see till where it moves You can see it's being moved. I'm pressing hard now and it has moved to such a 
small number it means that the air can be compressed to a small volume okay now the next activity to show that air exerts pressure in upward direction so for that what i have done is taken a tumbler filled with water and there's this cardboard i have taken okay i place this cardboard on the mouth of it and tightly very tightly i put pressure and turn it upside down okay now after some time i just slowly remove my hand and you can see the water is not falling down because now air is applying pressure upwards on this cardboard which is preventing the water to fall from the tumbler okay okay now i'm going to show you a very very interesting activity to prove that air exerts pressure okay it exerts pressure in all the directions this particular activity will show you air exerts pressure downwards so what i have done here you can see it's an empty bottle in my hand and this is a compass i will make holes in it okay i'm making holes in this bottle all right using the compass some i'll make on the sides also okay you all can see that and now guess what if it will be filled with water what will happen obviously the water will leak let me show you a magic okay what i am going to do now i in immerse it in water and then i fill it with water okay by keeping it in the water and filling it using another mug okay and i have screwed it tightly all right now when i remove it from the mug obviously you will see the water isn't actually leaking whatever was sticking on the outside that has leaked out other is not leaking okay now when i unscrew this then see what will happen when i unscrew the bottle the cap will become loose and as a result air will enter into the bottle and let's see what happens yeah can you see that the water is leaking okay let me screw the cap it has stopped then i unscrew it again okay and screw it again so what you see when i unscrew the cap the air enters in applies pressure on the water through the holes the water escapes out and when i screw it this way the air this much air is still here in the air uh, there but it's not able to apply pressure okay so this activity proves a uh, air applies pressure in downward direction